Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at Routing Information Protocol, otherwise known as RIP. Specifically, within RIP we're going to be taking a closer look at RIP version 2 and how to configure RIP version 2 on Juniper routers. So first we're going to go over the basics of RIP, why you would want to run RIP as your routing protocol, and why you would not want to run RIP. RIP uses what is known as hop count for its metric. So if we have a lower hop count, or less routers between a source and destination, then that path is going to be preferred over a path from the source to destination that has a higher hop count. For instance, between R6 and R7, say we had R6, R9, and then we had a, a router over here, R10, and then R7. And we advertise the 7 network into RIP. When this route got to R6, it has two paths. It has a path through router 8 to get to router 6, and then it has a path through R7, R7, and then R10, and then R9, and then finally R6. Using the metric of hop count, the preferred path would indeed be the path between R7, R8, and R6. However, what you might see is that this is the slower link, because these are 1.5 megabit links, whereas at the bottom we have 100 meg links are faster than it links. So again, we have T1 at the top and faster than it at the bottom. So that is one of the basic principles of RIP and how it calculates its best path to a destination in the network. And what I have created is I have four routers. We have router 6, router 7, router 8, and router 9. These routers are all simulated as logical systems within one physical router. And we're going to connect all of these routers together using logical tunnel interfaces. And I have abbreviated these logical tunnel interfaces. For instance, on R8, we have LT.87. And if we write this out in the full format, this would be LT-1 forward slash 2 forward slash 0 dot 87. So you replace the XX with the actual unit of the logical tunnel. And if you're not familiar with logical tunnels, go ahead and watch my Logical Systems Lab 1 where I explain exactly how to set up logical tunnels. So the first thing we're going to do in this lab is I'm going to configure all these logical systems and all the links in between them. On router 6 we have a loopback 0.6 interface with the 6.6.6.0 forward slash 24 and on R7 we have a loopback 0.7 interface with the 7.7.7.0 forward slash 24 network. And then we have all of the networks in between. So for instance between R6 and R8 we have the 86 network. The network between R6 and R9 is the 96 network. The network between R9 and R7 is the 97 network and the network between R8 and R7 is the 87 network. So what we're going to do in this lab, we are going to advertise the networks on R6 and R7, the loopbacks into RIP. We're going to take a look at the RIP metric in detail, and we're going to manipulate the RIP metric accordingly. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and start configuring RIP. I'm sorry, configuring the routers, the logical systems. So the first thing we're going to do is configure all of the interfaces on R6. So we'll do the command set logical systems R6 and 
then interfaces 